Hey guys, what's up? So here. So today I want to talk to you guys about our Ministry of Defense and how they were discussing about missile protection from other countries. What's really funny about this news is that you have people that are in Japan asking for permission from countries around them like Korea and China asking for permission to protect our own country, Japan. So, this in this article here, it said that one of the writers for a, a, one of the reporters actually asked the Ministry of Defense whether they had permission from Korea or China to build missiles in Japan. That's like asking Mexico and Canada for permission to build nuclear weapons in America. How does that even make sense? You're trying to protect your own country and you're trying to have national security for your country so that you're able to protect your own country, but you're asking permission from other countries. Of course they're gonna say no. What if they wanna attack you? Obviously they're gonna say no. Like, please, reporters, use your brain. But today I wanna talk about that and how Japan's reporters aren't very intelligent. So looking back at the Ministry of Defense, it's not just this Ministry of Defense that's been bashed on or asked very stupid questions. Even in the past, there's been questions like this where they want neighboring countries to understand that they're building missiles and the previous pre uh, minister said, we should not talk about things that are like movies or mangas. Yes, those Asking for permission from neighboring countries is a very manga-esque way of thinking where we're all living in a peaceful world, but we're not. We're trying to protect our own country with missiles, weapons, and whatever is necessary to protect our own country, and it's the minister's job to think about what's important for the country. And as a result, asking for permission or asking for asking whether or not we should build it to other countries is insane. And it's not even a question that should be asked in, to the minister. So, we have a very stupid media, and they don't give out proper information, and they just want to have ministers who say weird things so that they can get views on reports. So, I'm pretty sure this happens all around the world, but what are some crazy news stories that happen around the world in your country where they didn't falsify the news, but they exaggerated the news so that they were getting views on the reports. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.